Fools by Gail Gibbons, read aloud by Tina Winkle. An apple is a fruit. It grows on an apple tree. Apple trees grow in more parts of the world than any other fruit tree. They have been in existence for about two million years. A seedling is a very young small tree. The first American colonists brought apple seeds and seedlings with them from England. As the colonists moved westward, they brought apple seeds and seedlings with them. Some settlers found that Native American Indians had already brought apple seeds west and had apple trees growing near their villages. Many times during the early 1800s, John Chapman traveled throughout the wilderness of Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Indiana planting apple seeds. Also, he gave seeds and seedlings to the settlers there. He became known as Johnny Appleseed. Some apples are grown at home, but most are grown commercially. Each year, about 250 million bushels of apples are grown in the United States, and about 28 million bushels are grown in Canada. Macintosh Core, stem, skin, seed chambers called carpels, seeds, fleshy part. An apple is a firm, crisp, fleshy fruit with a hard center called a core. The core has five seed chambers. In the springtime, flowers called apple blossoms begin to bloom on the apple trees. Pollination happens when a grain of pollen from a stamen lands on the stigma of another blossom. Pollen, stamen, stigma. Each blossom has to be pollinated in order for an apple to grow. The blossoms are usually pollinated by insects or by the wind. After a while, the blossoms begin to die and apples start to grow. Throughout the warm summer, the little apples grow bigger and bigger. Golden delicious, during the late summer or early fall, the apples ripen. When the trees are loaded with ripe apples, it is harvest time. Workers pick the apples by hand. Some are shipped to stores. Some are used to make apple juice, apple cider, apple jelly, apple sauce, and lots of other apple products. Some are sold in baskets at roadside stands. During the fall, it is fun to go apple picking. Also, there are country fairs. Awards are given to the best looking apples, the best tasting apple pies, and the most delicious apple sauce. There is apple cider too. During Halloween, there are caramel apples and candy apples. Some people bob for apples. Dormant means alive, but not actively growing. When winter arrives, the apple tree branches become bare. The trees will become dormant until the next spring. When the trees will produce a new crop of apples. Some common apples grown in North America. Rome Beauty, Macintosh, Red Delicious, Golden Delicious. Apples have many tastes ranging from sweet to tart. Jonathan, Stamen, York, Granny Smith. All apples are different shades of yellow, green, and red, or a mix of those colors. How to plant and care for an apple tree. Number one, it is best to plant a seedling in the fall. Number two, dig a hole that is big enough to give the seedling's roots room to grow. Number three, after placing the seedling into the hole, add topsoil. Number four, pack down the soil to give the seedling support. Number five, water the seedling. It will need about 10 gallons of water each week during the first few months after planting. An apple tree will not grow apples until it is about five to eight years old. Each spring, the tree branches are trimmed. This is called pruning. Most apple trees grow to be about 20 feet, six meters tall. The soil around the trees should be fertilized. The pruning and fertilizing help produce lots of good apples. An apple a day. Number one, place dough for the bottom crust into a pie pan and trim off the edges. Number two, peel and slice six to eight apples. 
Granny Smith's and Jonathan's are good to use for apple pies because they are tart and stay firm when they are baked. Remove the cores. Put the slices into the pie pan. Number three, mix a half a cup, 118 milliliters brown sugar, a fourth a teaspoon, 1.23 milliliters salt, a half a teaspoon, 2.46 milliliters cinnamon, and a fourth a teaspoon, 1.23 milliliters nutmeg. Sprinkle mixture over the apples. Number four, put a layer of dough on top. Pinch down the edges and remove any extra dough. Poke little holes in the top. Number five, bake for 50 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit to 28 degrees Celsius. Make your own apple pie with the help of an adult. They are good for you. Here's how an apple cider press works. Number one, the apples are dropped into the hopper where they are cut up. Press screw handle, blades, hopper, tub, tray, filter. Number two, the apple pieces drop into the tub until it is three quarters full. Number three, the press handle is turned and the apple pieces are squeezed, forcing cider through a cloth filter. Number four, apple cider flows into the tray and then runs into a container. Golden Russet, Tompkins King, Suncrisp, King David, Ozark Gold, Prairie Spy, Wagoner, Honey Gold, Newton, Pippin, Molly's Delicious, Liberty, Keepsake. There are thousands of varieties or kinds of apples. They are nutritious and delicious. Today you're going to make a piece of corn and when corn grows you have this nice middle part that has all the kernels on it so you're going to add the kernels and then it has leaves on the side like this. So if you have an activity kit you should have two leaves, your piece of corn here and then two wiggly eyes. You'll need a glue stick, some scissors and some crayons or markers, okay? And if you don't have an activity kit, you can always use construction paper or cut um, or color in cut out uh, copy paper, the color you need. Okay, so to get started, we're going to have to make it look like corn. So you're going to get uh, the crown and the color you want. Usually I would choose yellow and orange and maybe even apricot. There's different kinds of oranges you could use too, like that one's kind of scarlet, but um, there's a red orange. Anyway, just anything you think that looks like corn, okay? And you're going to start at the top, and if you're really little, you can just color the whole thing, but if you want, you can make tiny little circles, like that. See how I'm making tiny little circles? Those are going to look like my little corn nuggets. And um, I guess I color like the Hulk. I was too strong for that crayon. And I'm just going to keep going until I fill up my corn. Okay, so now I have done my little dots on my piece of corn. And I am going to get my glue stick. And I'm going to put, let me scroll this up, okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue here on the side, and I'm going to add my little corn stalk there, my little corn leaf, and then I'm going to do the same on this side, and you can even put some down at the bottom, okay, and you just kind of make it in a V shape over the piece of corn. And then I'm going to get my Google eyes and glue them down. Oh, wait a minute. Those are way too big. <sighs> Silly Miss Tina. I need the little Google eyes. There we go. Then there's my googly eyes. <laughs> That's what I always call them. Wiggly eyes or googly eyes. And I'm going to put one down. And then I'm going to put the other one. So my corn has two eyes to see me with. Okay, and 
then I'm going to get a marker, a crown, and I'm going to make him a smile. And there is my piece of corn. My happy piece of corn. Thank you so much for making this craft with me. I had a lot of fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.